हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स नो मैटर व्हेदर यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एएससी और एएससी और पाडा रोल यू विल ऑब्वियसली हैव कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग एरे एंड मोस्ट आस्क्ड कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस रिगार्डिंग एरे इज व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू सॉल्व नाउ सो आई होप यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग एक्सचेंजर एग्जाम सो लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन आस्क्ड ऑन 6 नवंबर दैट मींस टुडे सो द क्वेश्चन इज रिगार्डिंग मैक्सिमम सब एरे राइट आई होप दिस इज नॉट प्रॉपर्ली विजिबल though i am reading for you so you will obviously understand just uh, have a little patience that is input format given here actually i have not got the uh, full question so just hear it a list of integers num representing an array of numbers this is the input format and output format is return an integer the maximum sum of any contiguous subarray in the given array for example 2 minus 2 1 minus 3 4 minus 1 2 1 minus 5 4 output is 6 if this is not properly visible then this is okay just ignore it and listen to me carefully you will be fine right so what we have to do that is uh, we have to find the maximum sub array in which we will have the maximum sum right so minus 2 plus 1 minus 3 plus 4 minus 1 2 1 minus 5 4 so if we take any number of element if we get the maximum sum then we will return that value right and uh, just uh, give importance to this question because this question was asked on 3rd november as well right so let's uh, iterate through all the element and see where we can find the maximum sub array so while uh, iterating through all the element we get that 4 minus 1 plus 2 plus 1 is the sub array in which we will get the maximum sum that is 6 but you can say uh, i can get um, any uh, any other value that is maximum uh, than 6 so let's take the full array and see if this is greater than this sub array So minus two plus one plus minus three plus four. So this is fully zero, and minus one two one. So this is ah uh, three minus one that is two minus five plus four. This is not greater than six, right? So this way we have to calculate ah uh, and we have to compare if the this sub array is greater than the maximum sub array we have already. taken right so i hope you understood the problem so if you understood then please give the solution in the comment section otherwise this will not be helpful right and you know i will solve the problem in java and python both so at first let's solve the problem in java then we will go to the python right so what should be our approach to the solution actually we can initialize a maximum sum variable or a current sum variable to the first element of the array and uh while iterating through all the element we will just compare and we will add the values to the current value and we will get our desired output i think okay so let's solve the problem and see if this is correct or not okay now let's create the function so public static return type integer and name of the function is max sub array and let's take arguments the array as the arguments and now we will initialize max sum variable to the first element of the array and you know why we are taking this because this is to start with a known maximum sum and as we iterate through all the element of the array we will update it when we find a larger value i mean the larger maximum sub array sum right so int max sum is equal to 0 and int we will also initialize current sum variable right current sum is equal to 0 sorry first element of the array right so nums 0 right nums 0 okay now let's iterate through all the element of the array nums to take the sub sum of the sub arrays right okay so for int i is equal to 0 i less than nums dot length i plus plus and now what we have to do that is update the current sum to either the current element of the sum of the current element and the previous sum and update the maximum sum if the current sum is greater right so current sum is equal to math dot max among the current element right so current element is nums sorry nums i and we will compare between current element and the nums i element plus 
the current sum already stored in the uh, current sum variable right and we will update the maximum sum if the current sum is greater right so max sum is equal to math dot max will compare between max sum and the current sum right so whichever will be uh, whichever whichever will be greater we will return that right so that means we will return the max sum at the end of the for loop so return the max sum i think this will be fine just let's write the main function okay so let's create object of scanner class sc is equal to new scanner system dot in and now take the element of the array right so for that we have to initialize a variable n is equal to sc dot next int this is the size of the array and now initialize the array int uh, let's say array is equal to new int n right okay now just take all the elements of the array so int i is equal to 0 i hope you know how to take array in java right so sorry array dot length i plus plus and array i is equal to sc dot next int right okay fine now just call the function and see if this is right or not so s out max sub array error right okay let's run the code and see if this is right or not so the number of elements are 9 right okay 9 and the elements are minus 2 1 minus 3 4 minus 2 1 minus 3 4 minus 1 2 1 minus 5 4 right okay let's run it and see if this is right or not so output is 6 okay let's run the second input so second input is number of elements are 6 and the elements are 3 minus 1 2 5 uh, minus 6 3 so what should be the output that is 9 because the maximum sub array uh, we found here right so this is the maximum sum so 3 plus minus 1 plus 2 plus 5 that is 9 so this should be the maximum sum oh, oh sorry but this is 12 why uh, oh actually i had to give one here because uh, we should iterate from the one index to the last index because uh, we already had taken the nums i mean the first element in the max sum variable and the current sum variable so we should iterate from the second index right okay so i hope this is fine okay let's run the code and see if this is right or not so at first run the second input anyhow the first input was right so six and so the number of first elements are three minus one two five and minus six three so output should be nine okay now it is fine and let's run the first input and then see if this is right or not so nine and the elements are uh what i just forgot okay minus two one minus three four minus one two one minus five and four okay and output is six and it is should be, it should be six right so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used here if you face any problem then let me know in the comment section i will love to solve your problem right okay let's solve the problem in python but before we jump to the solution in python i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture and please share this content with your friend in the uh, group of your college unofficial so that they can also take help from this channel right okay let's solve the problem in python so as we did in java just repeat the process in python right so at first define the function name define max sub array and the argument is a list right so nums is the list and now initialize the max sum and current sum right and i hope you know why we are taking max sum and current sum right nums zero and the current sum right is equal to nums zero right the first element okay now iterate through all the element of the array so for i in range 
okay one to the length of the nouns right so we will not do the same mistake here okay so i hope you understood what i am doing now i will not explain briefly here because i already so i will not uh, i will not expand the video time right okay now update the values so current sum and the max sum so at first update the current sum current sum is equal to max of the first element nums i and the nums i plus current sum that was already stored right okay now update the max sum is equal to max of uh, compare between previous maxim and the current maxim. I mean current sum, right? Okay, now this is fine. Just out of the for loop, return the maxim, right? Okay, now just take the input. Let's say the list is equal to uh, list map int input dot split okay now just print and call the function max sub array and the list right okay let's see if this is right or not so we don't have to give number of elements here so the elements are 3 minus 1 2 5 and minus 6 3 so output should be 9 and it is 9 and the first input was the elements are what two minus two one minus three right sorry minus two one minus three four minus one two one minus five four right so output should be six and it is six so i hope you understood the logic and syntaxes i used in python as well so if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and suggest me which content you want more and last request to all of you please contribute few thanks to make me motivated right okay thank you for today's session